Finding an everyday flexible yet simple note-taking app can be tricky, but the best note-taking app out there is already pre-installed on your iPhone. You see, there's a lot of great apps out there, but you kind of have to spend the time customizing and building out your perfect workflow to kind of make the most out of it. And that's okay too, but for some people who want something more simple but effective, Notes is the best app out there. The great thing about using the Notes app is that it's very straightforward. There's really three things that I really like about the app. It's simplicity, functionality, and it's convenience. Before even entering the app, you can long press the app icon on your home screen, which prompts up a list of options like scanning documents, taking a photo, starting a checklist. I do feel like the widgets for the app could be better though. Most widgets on iPhone, I find honestly could be better, but one of the ways I find it useful is to view recent notes and click into ones that you're editing often. I do wish you can edit notes from the widget, like kind of like how the Reminders app lets you check off tasks but maybe in the future. But once you're in the app, one of the most useful features for me is creating folders and subfolders to keep everything organized. It's as simple as creating a folder and naming it what you want. But there's also a smart folders feature which allows you to organize your notes using tags and other filters like file attachments, checklists, and if they're shared with anyone else. So for example, I like to jot down random ideas I get throughout the day so I don't forget them and I'll work on them eventually. At the end of it, I'll include the tag YouTube idea. You know, sometimes I'll write down multiple ideas throughout the week and we'll eventually get to them, but adding this tag will then group all those notes together in that smart folder so that when I'm ready to, to look for them, I don't have to scavenge through a bunch of other notes. It'll all be under one central folder, one smart folder. You can also create subfolders within any pre-existing folder. It's really simple, but that's exactly why it's so good to me. There's no need to overcomplicate things. But moving on to some of the features that are immediately available to you once you create a new notes document. One of my favorite features that I want to highlight is the ability to lock your notes via password or face ID. If you have to scan sensitive documents or I don't know, keep something like a password written down, this feature does come in clutch. You'll see a checklist option, which is really nice. I use this a lot whenever I need to remember all the B-roll shots I need for videos or whenever I'm heading to a shoot and I don't want to forget any equipment for my camera, like batteries or light stands or you know any accessories the nice thing about this is that once you check off an item it'll automatically drop it to the bottom of the list and keep anything that you haven't done yet or haven't checked off yet at the top of the list apple calls this feature sorting and you can toggle it on or off so if you don't want it just disable it but i find it very useful it can be convenient for grocery shopping or just remembering things that can be overlooked easily over to the right of that, we have this camera icon and it allows you to add photos or videos to your notes and scan documents or text. I use the document scans religiously, sometimes to keep documents in PDF format, but a lot of the time I want to print something or make a copy of it. It's just a lot faster than having a printer scan it and I can keep a copy of it in the notes app if I want to send it through an email or another app. And of course, just as easy as you can scan documents, you can also use the camera to scan text from flyers, other real life documents, or even photos to translate them into text onto your notes document. You can kind of tuck it out the way or keep it larger on your screen if you're referencing it, but if you don't need it, it'll keep it in this nice small view. Again, it's pretty straightforward stuff, but it's surprisingly useful and it saves a lot of time, which is really the point of a productivity app. So before we get into the other features, I know there's a bunch of other apps out there that are more capable and powerful, but the beauty of Apple Notes is that since it's so effortless, it allows you to spend less time actually taking notes or writing things down and actually spend more time doing the actual task at hand. For example, another app I use often is Google Docs, usually on my laptop or desktop, but um, I don't find it to be as useful or efficient on mobile, at least when compared to Apple Notes. Specifically, when you're formatting text like switching to heading or subheading or even adding indentations or bullet points to documents. You know, I'm not saying that it is impossible on Docs, of course it is, but the layout on the Notes app just feels better and easier to access since the majority of the options sit at the bottom half of the screen. You also have many formatting options ranging from title, headings, subheadings, and of course, all of the essentials like bolding, underlining, etc. So while I normally use it for jotting down quick notes and whatnot, if you wanna work on an extended document that you can keep coming back to or adding to later, like writing a letter or something or whatever, anything extensive, 
you can use it for that also. You can just copy and paste a link into a phrase or a word and it'll redirect you into the link once you press on that. And it's just a lot nicer for the looks and just keeping your, your stuff organized in general. A lot of time I'll watch a clip or see an image and it'll give me an idea or inspiration for a video or something like that. So I'll jot down on my note and then I'll add the link that you know that wherever I got the inspiration from and I'll be able to reference it in the future. Also, you have options for lines and grids if you want to draw something with a pencil or, or your finger realistically, because it was really using an Apple Pencil on their iPhone, which brings me to my next point, cross-platform. Thanks to this being an Apple product, it works flawlessly across their ecosystem. The notes sync via iCloud extremely fast if you're logged into the same Apple account. And like I said earlier, for any work that requires a lot of writing, like when I'm scripting, I'm not doing that on my phone. I'll sometimes work on an idea or finish writing out thoughts that I previously wrote down on my phone, and then I'll transfer them to another platform afterwards, even if I'm not using it on the notes app it's so much easier because i can just open the notes app on my laptop for example and transfer it over to google docs or something but like i said you can literally just work on the notes app if you choose to before making this my primary productivity notes app i really thought it wasn't worth it partly because not too long ago i still thought it wasn't but with the updates that's been released over the last year or year and a half or so i decided to prioritize it over the other apps i've used and it's made my workflow much better i encourage anyone using an iphone to give it a try and if you're deep into apple's ecosystem i think it'll even be better for you um, i'm not saying it has to be your primary productivity or note taking app but i think it makes Simple tasks very easy and can be integrated into everyone's workflow. That's all I got for y'all today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I got more of this content coming in the future. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.